An RC circuit is not instantaneous. Whether you're charging the capacitor or discharging, it takes a certain amount of time. How much time? That's what the time constant's for. Resistance times capacitance. First of all, that really is seconds. An ohm times a farad means volt per amp times coulomb per volt. Volts cancel, coulomb per amp. An amp is a coulomb per second, so that's coulomb over coulomb per second, which is seconds. So ohm times farad really is a second. The charging process is going to look like this. At first, it's going to start going rapidly, but then the more full the capacitor gets, the more it's fighting you, and so the final charging goes slower and slower. So in theory, it's never completely done. So what is the time constant? When you have a discharging capacitor, you've got a charged up capacitor, a resistor, you close the switch, and the charge flows off. That charge is gonna drop off exponentially. You may have seen this kind of exponential decay before, for example, in radioactivity. With radioactivity, we talk about a half-life. Is the time constant a half-life for an RC circuit? Close. If you multiply by natural log two, it would be the half-life but it's not. Without that, it would be what we would call an E-life, right? Instead of waiting for one over two to be left, we wait for one over E to be left, where E is Euler's number, 2.718, blah, blah, blah. One over E is about 37%. So instead of being 50% done, we're going till 63% done. If you complete 63% and then do it again and do it again five times, that puts you over 99%. And so five tau, we call it mostly full or mostly discharged, depending on whether you're using a charging circuit or discharging circuit. And for reference, here are the formulas for charging the capacitor, charge as a function of time, discharging the capacitor, charge as a function of time. And it's the same formula for the current and charging or discharging.